Hi, so today I'm going to show you how to insert and move an image or photograph around in a Word document. I'm currently using Office 365 Word version 16.33. Okay, so I've just got a sample document up here with just a little bit of text, just for demonstration purposes. So the first thing we need to do is insert our photograph or image. So you simply go up to the insert tab, to the picture icon here, click on the drop down and click picture from file. We're simply going to choose the apples and click insert. Now as you can see Word will simply insert your image according to its dimensions. So if you have a smaller image your image will come out smaller and larger it will take over the page. So if I try to move this image around, you'll see that it's very clunky, it won't move, and it does sometimes, and it's very unpredictable. So what we need to do is to change how Word deals with this image. And that's done by ensuring you're on picture format. If you're not, then it's because your picture isn't selected. So just click on your picture or image and you'll see that this picture format tab appears at the top. Then go along to this tab here, wrap text, and then click on the drop down. Here you're presented with a number of different options. The most common one is tight. So if I click on that, you'll see that if I move this image around, it will move around my document quite happily. If I reduce the size of my image by clicking and dragging on one of the corner squares, you can see that the text will then wrap itself entirely around my image. And if I move it around, you can see again, it will do exactly the same. In addition to this, you can always also select other options. If you select top and bottom, then the text will simply appear at the top and the bottom of your, of your image. And you can also select behind text where your image floats behind the text or in front of the text and in which case it's on top of the text. So the most common one we tend to use is tight and as you can see the text is fitting itself nicely around this image. However, if I pop it on this top left hand corner you can see that the text is actually really close to my image, too close in fact. So in order to correct this or to change it, then I simply go back up to the wrap text icon here, click on the drop down, and go down to more layout options. And here you're presented with this menu. And depending on which different type of option you've selected, whether you want the text behind, in front, etc., etc., you can also choose the distance from the text that your image appears. So I've selected tight, but I want mine to be a centimetre away from the text. So I'm just going to go along, change all of these values to one and click OK. And as you can see now, the text has moved that distance away from my image. And again, if I move it, then at all times there is a centimetre margin around my image. If you want to have more specific text next to your image, then all you do is simply insert a text box, you draw a text box, let's pop some text in here, so if we want this specific text in this box but we want this to appear next to this here, next to our image, and again, we select the text box, go to shape format, wrap text and click on tight. And then all we need to do is just to move this next to our, next to our image. And then we need to change this wrapping to top and bottom. And if we change this one to top and bottom as well, then you can see that we'll have the specific text that we want to have next to our image. 
you want to get rid of this border, then you simply click on the text box, go to Shape Format, click on Shape Outline, and click No Outline. And then in order to get this text to fit, you can highlight it all, go to the Home tab, and click on this icon here, which is reducing the size of your font. And then you can get that text to fit. You can center it. You can indent it right, left or square, depending on what your preference is. So, and you can really manipulate this so that it works in your favor and customize it. Just as a quick side note, if you did decide that you wanted to make this a smaller image, but actually instead of just reducing the size of it, you wanted to crop it, you can simply use the crop tool in Word. If you make sure that your picture's highlighted, if it's not, just click on it, go to picture format, and along to the crop tool here, and just click crop. Here you'll be presented with these black lines, and this will give you the opportunity to click and drag from the corners. Let's just say we wanted to highlight the apple and just click and drag until you're happy. Once you're happy, just click the return key and then you can crop your image in Word. So that's the way in which to move an image around your document. I hope it's helped. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.